Okay, so in here I've got my Abraham Lincoln text, which is a mashup of both his uh, second inaugural as well as the uh, Gettysburg Address. And even within that text, there wasn't enough to use in the larger background. So I actually duplicated both those speeches a couple of times over so I would have enough text to work with. So I'll go ahead and select all of that, copy that. And if you're working with an author, you probably could find some of their text information in uh, Gutenberg and uh, or some other source. But obviously, you're going to have to get their words uh, in place. So for this project, the concept is that we're, we're doing a person who uses the written word or is an orator. In this case, Lincoln is the orator. Uh, you can use a, an author, so you're, you're good to go. OK, so now I'm going to back this away a little bit. And that'll give me some room to work with my text. I'm done with this. I don't need that anymore. And I don't need to do the image trace anymore. OK, so I'm going to start off with the darkest one first. And I'm going to shut everything off. So I'm only working with the dark colors. And I'll go ahead and click and drag a text box around in here. I've already got my my uh, Lincoln speeches in my clipboard, so all I have to do is paste it. And it's going to be easier for me to kind of back everything up and slow it, kind of kind of leapfrog from one variation to the other. So now I can zoom in a little bit here. I don't need to be that far away. So this one in here is going to be the darkest. So I'll go ahead and call up my uh, text, Command T or Control T. And so I'm going to go ahead and start off by making this bold. Uh, the font size is going to be fairly large, so I'll go ahead and make it 80. OK, so then I'm going to really force the letting in here to be really tight. And so if this is 80, if so from, from, uh, from the descender to the ascender is the typeface, that would be 80. And I'm guessing that in here, I may be looking somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 40. So let's see what the leading looks like in 40. Now, leading is measured from baseline to baseline. And that would also include the font size normally in that number. So if I type in a 40 here, that's going to crush it. That's going to bring, because the type is larger than 40, that means it's basically going to be a negative number because collectively the letting and the font add together. So uh, the advantage of working with computers now is that we can work with negative letting. But it doesn't read that way. It just reads as um, 40. It would be 80 over 40. So here it's, you can see that it's crushed. So now I want to modify my tracking. It's easier to type in a number. Otherwise, it'll start calculating all these numbers, as opposed to using your roller ball on your mouse or a smart mouse, if you've got that. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe drop it to a negative. I'm guessing for now, I'll do a 5 and see what that looks like. Yeah, so it's going to have to be a lot more than that. So let's do a negative 10. Up, even more than that. Let's go straight to 40. Yeah, 40 looks good. Now you can see that some of the dark area in here that I'm going to want the type to show up in is disappearing on me. So what I want to do is I want to grab this and pull this out. And as soon as I get rid of the rag, here's the rag here. As soon as I get the, rid of the rag within the area that I'm working in, I'm good to go. OK, so now. This is going to go into uh, this layer that I'm working on. And I'm going to throw in a copy of this. While this is selected, I'm going to throw a copy in my text layer. So I'll just go ahead and grab this right now. And I'm going to drop that in there. So right now, this text is in here. I'll turn it on so we can see it. And so now I'm going to hold the Option key down and drag that up to the layer that I want it in. OK, so now I've got the text in two places. And you can see that if I turn everything off, there's text here. Turn that off. There's text here. Turn it off. 
This one, this text down in here is what I'm going to use to make the next layer's text. So now I can go back to the top layer. Everything else is off. I can see what I've got going on. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to send it to the background with either a command or a control shift left bracket. And that sends it to the back. And now you can see that the artwork is in the foreground and the text is in the background. Now I'm ready to make this into a mask. I'm going to select everything in this layer by clicking here. So now I've got both my text and the foreground color layer selected. And now I can go to the object drop down menu, slide down to clipping mask and make. And hit yes. And there's my artwork. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it more dense so that it really comes across as black, you can select the text. So if later on, if you want to modify it, you can do it then. But for now, I'll just go ahead and show you how to make the modification. So here's my text box right in here. And if I select it, you'll see that all of these settings are showing up in here. So in here, so the uh, I can bring in the letting even tighter. So I'll give it 20. And uh, I'll make the tracking even tighter. So I'll make it 50. So you can see that there's just a text piled on top of each other. And it's kind of nice. For the most part, it's black. And every once in a while, you can get a glimpse of a, of a letter. So that works OK. Uh, but you want to select the text box individually. So I'm done with that. OK, so now I'm going to hide that just so I don't get it in the way. And I'm going to turn this guy back on. And I'm going to turn on the next text that I'm working with. Rather, I should say the next color. Actually, I'll turn it off for now. It'll be a little easier to see. So these numbers in here, I'm going to go from uh, 80 to 60. And over here, I'm going to increase my uh, my space. And so I'll go from 20. Let's see what 30 looks like. Whoops, it helps if I select the text. Not paying attention. So 60. And and that'll be, um, we're going to increase that to, let's see what uh, 50 looks like. Yeah, that looks a little better. Increase this a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and make that 30. So it's going to make it lighter. Again, I can make the adjustment later. So. Uh, but for now, I'm, gonna, I'm working with layer number two now. So I'm holding the Option key down, and I'm clicking on this little dot, and I'm dragging it up into the layer that I need it. And so I've got a copy of it. Turn this off. Turn this on. And there's my text. And the reason it disappeared was because the eyeball was off. But now you can see again, I still have two layers. So we'll do this again uh, in a second here. So here's the, the bottom layer with the text. And here's the top layer with the text. So two different text boxes. I can make a mod on this one. Uh, but before I do that, I want to send my text to the back. So select the text, Command, Shift, right bracket, or Control, Shift, right bracket. So it goes to the back. Do a select on the whole layer. And then go to the Object drop-down menu and slide down to Clipping Mask Make. And we'll hit OK. And there it is. Now, if you want to play around with the color variation, you can turn this on and see what it's just starting to do. And, and that's starting to come along nicely, quite frankly. So we'll turn those off. And so we'll turn this back on. And now we want to make a modification to that. So we'll select that. So from 60, we'll drop it down to 40. And the letting will be opened up. And actually, when you get it smaller, the letting becomes more apparent. But I'll go ahead and make it 55. So open it up a little bit. And the tracking now will go to 20. OK, so that looks good. So I'm going to hold the Option key down on this point and drag that up to my third layer. That's what I'm working on. I don't. It's there. I don't see it because this is turned off. So I'll turn this one off. And I'll turn on my third layer. And there it is. So everything looks fine there. Uh, go ahead and select the text. Send it to the back. Command Shift bracket or Control Shift bracket. 
select the whole layer, everything, go to the object drop down menu, slide down to mask, hit OK, and that takes care of that. And if you're the curious type, you can see what it's starting to look like. Maybe I'm going to make that a little smaller, but I think it looks OK on the face. I, I'm going to leave it like that. OK, so now the next one, I'll shut these off. The next one is going to be this layer in here. So again, I'll turn this back on, come back over here, and I'm going to whittle this down. So this will go down to, let's say, 20. And I'm going to bring in the, uh, the leading a little bit uh, because right now it's starting to open up a little too much. So I'll go back to... Uh, see what 45 looks like. Yeah, that looks okay. And the tracking, I'm going to open I'm going to open that up. So, I'll set it to let's see what 10 looks like. Okay, so I think that's okay. All right, this is the last of the text boxes that I need. So, I'll select that again and hold the Option key down and drag this up to the top layer right there, number 4. And I'm going to keep this around in case I want to make any mods, and which I do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn on that bottom layer. Just like last time, select the text, send it to the back, Command, Control, Shift, left bracket, and select the whole layer everything in it, go to the object drop down menu, slide down to clipping path make. And some of you probably already figured out that I could have done a function key for this just to process it, but it's kind of nice to see what's going on. So let's turn everything on. And so now I've got my, my linking, LinkedIn image there. Don't need this one though. Uh, so now you can start to see how it's breaking up. Okay, so like I said before, uh, this is done now. Now it's just a matter of kind of fine tuning it. And what I would like to do is keep any color that's on his face horizontal and any color that's on the background on a diagonal. And so I'll do that in the next movie. It's, it's a matter of duplicating the layers that are in the background and making separate layers that are the same tone but they're going to be for the back. Uh, so it's actually looking pretty good right now. I may consider modifying this text in here, make it a little bit smaller, but uh, we'll see. We'll play around with that when we get into the next movie.